This video is actually going to be reaction and the discussion of One Piece episode 1019. The reaction is now going to commence. Yeah, yeah, she's tricking them with the dumpling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have queens, so obviously, you know, they might believe that. Oh, that top performer idiot. Yeah, you sure will. We're working with them. It's so ridiculous that Otama exists, but for this specific arc, she's one of the most overpowered characters. It was already good because of the ridiculous world this is, but because of smiles. <laughs> this, I hate smiles. For all gifters, yeah. Oh. Can't believe that so many people will be joining the. <laughs> she. If this is so messed up in certain ways, though. She's literally controlling these. Does this world ever run out? Because the effect, I mean, they might serve her to the end of their lives. That is obvious, that was an obvious strategy. Why didn't you think of that, by the way, earlier? I thought that was one of the obvious ones. I, I never mentioned it, but I thought that one was a given, especially because how her fruit works. You're actually contributing way more than I ever thought you could. No, <laughs> dumplings. Oh. I don't dislike it, not at all, just they're unexpected here. True, that's a good motivation as well. Her ability broken in so many ways. Does it work on zone users normally? Just normal zone users? Does it? Dumpling! Would it work on Queen and all of them? I don't know. Yep, the dumplings. Indeed, very confusing. D d she's actually gonna... She, she, she will easily rival. Maybe not an Emperor of the Sea, but... Definitely some of the strongest characters. I don't know, that one is questionable. That one in particular. Oh yeah, Usopp is actually very helpful with this. <laughs> yeah. Such a messed up power. It should work especially on Chopper, even if it wouldn't work on any other devil a zone user. Also, technically speaking, I think it should work on everything because technically everything is an animal. With the over exaggerated reactions. Oh, that he also got bitten? Okay. Guys, be serious. I'm sorry, I don't feel anything about that. He's gonna be saved. He will have one of the biggest amount of time to wait for Chopper. Oh, okay, I didn't really expect this to get us. Oh my goodness, I'm so getting your back against the dinosaur. Well, I am glad we're actually catching up with everyone else. That's delightful. What's up with the animation though? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I thought Otamo would be the thumbnail, but hey, who knows? I mean, yeah, after all, it's not a 1v1. You also have a sword, can you use that? <laughs> really? Actually, it seems kinda easy. Oh yeah, apparently gifters do have increased strength. I do appreciate that at least, that even though you, even if you get a worthless... Which once again, uh, the pleasures, do they get a physical boost as well? I feel like at, at least that way it's gonna be slightly better. Oh. I think these guys are, are probably servants of Otama. <laughs> Throw. Yep, yep, joking. The names, the name they use. Yeah, this is so ludicrous, her fruit. Also, animation was very crispy for the little combat these two had. It shocked me because it happened so quick, I didn't even get to respond to the awesome animation. Oh my goodness, can Otama make the pages as well? What is here? Frankie? Yeah, I'm sorry, I hope that is not enough. <laughs> they're playing! Why are they the swallowing though? And there we go, they're doing it. Are they gathering enough until they can take down these two? Yeah, it is honestly quite ridiculous. Oh! Nice, Frankie. Oh, the sword! I was about to say, is this hockey? I don't think so. V for victory. Oh, uh, I don't... <laughs> I am astounded by how much I enjoyed this episode. Was way more fun than I ever anticipated it can be. I I mean, the animation was way better than it ever deserved to be, for this specifically at least. I mean, no, I'm glad we got the Frankie fight, but... First, I didn't expect it to be resolved so well, so quickly. But even... I'm glad that they gave it the animation it deserved, I just didn't expect it to be as quick as it happened, because I assume Frankie is just gonna crush him now, they showed that he's way stronger than him. So yeah, that's done. Now, the ties with the people that they've taken down, the, the other guys were explaining doesn't matter, because Tama can probably take down at least half of the army along with them, and all of them are actually gifters, so yeah, that... They have such an inherent advantage with Tama even existing. Frankly, I think they should probably hide her somewhere. And also, they should assign her a bodyguard much stronger than Usopp or, Na or Nami. 
I maybe she's the best place for her would be probably. I mean, she definitely should go around and gather as many of them as. Actually, she doesn't even need to do that. She just really needs to stick around in the safest place possible. Probably with Chopper, and actually no, the disease is a dangerous thing, but Chopper will deal with it. Just, they have to assign a powerful bodyguard to her, because yeah, she can single-handedly turn the whole thing down around. And just mention one thing real quickly, real cool Frankie and the Drake battle, very cool. I Once again, way better anime than I ever anticipated. Just cool moment, it was a hilarious episode. But the biggest thing in the episode, clearly enough, was Tama and her determination, her desire to help. Her ridiculously broken ability that needs some explaining, because I, her fruit is ludicrous. It is. It actually is. I don't even, I don't fathom it. I just don't. And also, also, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess all the gifters are gonna be nice now, right? Because Tama is just gonna rule over all of them. Yeah. Honestly, Momo can just... Ad with Tama, I mean, I don't know whether they can become... I mean, honestly, it depends. I feel like Luffy can easily become an Emperor immediately this second. As long as he wins against Kaido and Big Mom. But, yeah, he can easily do it instantaneously with people like Tama just and Momo. Just all the resources, this whole country... I don't think they can lose. Like... As long as Kaido and Big Mom are defeated, I forgot the time I existed, but now they remember that, yeah, they can't win. Like, the Kingdom Pirates can't win. Because the only thing that's left is their, uh, the Tobiropo, and no, actually, most headliners are probably small users. So everyone, uh, there is that strange kid and those strange people that have the masks with the eyes, I don't get them. But Kairo has them and the Tobiropo. Literally everyone else can switch sides immediately. Or at least majority of them, because one third, right? Because it was gifters, waiters and pleasures. Which once again, we don't know whether it works on the pleasures. I think it might. Which if it does, then just one third out of the entire army is actually gonna fight them. I feel bad for Kaido because now I feel it's the opposite. At the beginning I was feeling that they don't stand any chance, but now I feel like Kaido doesn't stand any sort of chance whatsoever. Unless the Big Mom pirates arrive, it is 100% impossible for them to pull off anything. Because we all know that Kaido is gonna lose, same as Big Mom. They're fighting, obviously, you know, for Kaido. Oh my goodness, they're fighting Wall, uh, Luffy, Kit, I suppose. Uh, also, Zoro's there, and also, also, many other people can join in. Pretty much all of Tobiropo are gonna be taken out because one member of Tobiropo is dealing with Sanji, so he had that covered, or at least he has her occupied, even if he can't beat her. He at the very least has her occupied. Frank is just gonna destroy this guy. Uh, the, uh, somehow, somehow, R I was going to say Robin, not Robin, uh, they have Nami and Usopp have two members of Tobiropo also covered and they're gathering an army as well while everything is going on. So, literally Drake switched, Drake switched sides, uh, Chopper is gonna come up with an antidote very quickly because he has a copy of it, or rather he has an antidote so he just needs to multiply it. So, yeah. I don't think they have anything left unless they reveal something that I'm obviously enough unaware of. Like some special power that Queen, King, Jack is done for because he got defeated by the Minx. So yeah, like, we'll see. I guess we also, something I am looking forward to, I've mentioned multiple times, I want to see what's happening with Carrot and uh, the Dog Girl against Perus Perot. I am excited about that. It, I hope! If it is a quick battle, it is with the same animation style as Frankie against the Trike guy, because I just want it to be like that. It would be very nice, I would appreciate it. But anyhow, I just enjoyed the episode, I did. And I'm definitely looking forward to the next one. This is what I expect from my channel there, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.